Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I am going to explain you two types of capacitance which are present in PN junction. One is depletion capacitance and second is diffusion capacitance. And I will explain you how those capacitance will vary with respect to biasing which we give it to PN junction. So, let us see first how depletion capacitance is there. See, depletion capacitance that is also known as transition capacitance as well as it is also known as space charge capacitance. See this depletion capacitance that is there due to width of depletion region. So, here in PN junction as we know at a junction there is a space charge region that is referred as depletion region. At P side there are negative ions, at N side there are positive ions. And this is what depletion region. So, depletion capacitance that is there due to this depletion region. And this depletion capacitance that we consider with reverse bias of PN junction. Why the reason is in reverse bias, this width of depletion region that will increase. And that width that depends on how much reverse bias voltage that we apply. So, as you increase reverse bias voltage, this depletion region width that will increase, right? And based on that, that capacitance will be there. Let us try to understand how that capacitance will be there. See, capacitance basic formula that we all know, that is epsilon A by W, where this A is cross sectional area of this PN junction and this W is width of this PN junction. So, as you increase reverse bias voltage, this capacitance value that will decrease. As you increase reverse bias voltage, this width will increase. As this width will increase, this capacitance value that will decrease. So, you can say this depletion capacitance that is inversely proportional to width and for width calculation of this depletion region with reverse bias, I have explained the basic calculation along with the derivation in which we have seen how this W is there that is square root of 2 epsilon by Q into V naught plus V where V naught is built in potential and V is reverse bias voltage into Na plus Nd divided by Na Nd that derivation that we have already seen right here only thing that you need to understand is this W that is proportional to square root of V naught plus V, right. The reason is these are the constant, right. Only reverse bias voltage that we vary over here based on that this width will change. If you increase reverse bias voltage, width will change as per square root of V naught plus V. So, you can say this depletion capacitance that will vary as per 1 by W and it will vary as per 1 by square root of V naught plus V where V naught is built in potential and V is reverse bias voltage. So, usually we consider depletion capacitance for reverse bias. Even I will explain you why we consider that in characteristics. So, that will give you more clarity. Now, let us try to understand how diffusion capacitance is there. See this diffusion capacitance that is there due to mean lifetime of the carrier in PN junction. So, here when we observe here, see here we are having charge carriers and there will be recombination process. As you move far from the junction, recombination process will be slower and larger recombination will be there over here nearer to junction, right. So, there will be mean lifetime that will be given to you. So, here this diffusion capacitance that is there due to mean lifetime of the charge carriers in PN junction. And this capacitance that we consider for forward bias of PN junction, even I will explain you why we consider that in forward bias. See, this diffusion capacitance that is mean lifetime divided by Rd, where Rd is dynamic resistance of diode and this value that is as per eta Vt by Id, where Id is current flowing through diode in forward bias. And this diode current that is proportional to this diode current that is proportional to e to the power v by vt where v is forward bias voltage, right. 
so here if you observe as you increase forward bias voltage this diffusion capacitance that will increase exponential right this relation is very essential that you need to understand see as you increase reverse forward bias voltage then this diode current will increase so in that situation see this diode current that is as per e to the power v by vt right see this tau eta vt those are constant this is vt which is uh, thermal voltage right at room temperature its value is 25.8 milli voltage that is constant eta is ideality factor it is 2 for silicon it is 1 for germanium that will be given to you right so here if you observe in forward bias condition of pn junction this diode current will increase and this diode current that is proportional to e to the power v by vt where v is forward bias voltage right now let us try to understand characteristics so that will give you more clarity regarding how capacitance changes see here i have considered horizontal axis which is voltage and vertical axis that is capacitance see this is zero voltage so over here we are having positive voltage positive voltage means diode will be there in forward bias so in forward bias if you observe see this diffusion capacitance that is exponentially increasing that is exponentially increasing and in reverse bias this diffusion capacitance that is zero that is zero right so in reverse bias we only consider depletion region capacitance that is CT right and in forward bias both capacitance are present but as you increase forward bias voltage this diffusion capacitance value that is way greater compared to this transition capacitance right as this is increasing exponentially and in forward bias width of depletion region that decreases I have told you this transition capacitance that is proportional to 1 by w and this diffusion capacitance that is proportional to e to the power e to the power v by vt right so if you increase forward bias voltage exponential increase will happen with diffusion capacitance and transition capacitance that will vary as per 1 by w so in forward bias width of depletion region that will decrease so it will also increase over here but this increase in diffusion capacitance that is exponential so here see basic things that you need to understand over here see this depletion capacitance that we consider for reverse bias only why the reason is in the reverse bias depletion capacitance is only present and that value is epsilon a by w where w is directly proportional to square root of v naught plus v where v is reverse bias voltage right in forward bias we consider diffusion capacitance only why the reason is this diffusion capacitance that is proportional to e by e raised to v by vt where v is forward bias voltage so exponential increase will happen in diffusion capacitance as you increase forward bias voltage why the reason is this diffusion capacitance that is tau by rd where rd is dynamic resistance of diode and that is eta vt by id where id current that will increase in forward bias and it will increase exponentially that even we have seen in my earlier videos right so as per that you can say diffusion capacitance that is proportional to e to the power v by vt so usually what we do is when we calculate capacitance for diode at that time in the reverse bias means if voltage is less than zero so in that case reverse bias will be there so in that case we will be considering depletion region capacitance that is ct or you can say that is transition capacitance right and that is proportional to 1 by w but in forward bias diffusion capacitance will increase exponentially so in forward bias we will be ignoring this and we will be calculating diffusion capacitance only that is how basics are there regarding capacitance due to pn junction so in pn junction as you increase forward bias voltage depletion region will get depletion region width will get decrease right so in forward bias both of these capacitance are present but value of diffusion capacitance is way high right but in reverse bias only depletion region capacitance will be there right 
and that we can calculate as per epsilon 0 epsilon r a by w where w is width and that width will change with respect to reverse bias voltage so these are the basics that you should consider for a solution of problems and these are the basics which is there regarding diode capacitance i hope you have understood this still if anything that you like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching